to memorize anything or rather to learn anything one mode is but whenever you hear you like it at that point of time but after some time you you forget this has given you a forced focus so when you combine all these four you get the best result because that is important for your own memory a strong connection till the time that connection is strong you have something in your mind if that connection get loose there are various ways to maintain that connection and one of the ways to memorize anything or rather to learn anything one mode is text that is to read okay how to read text that is a different way of learning then there is another here but again it has a different mode some of you might be watching how many of you hear podcasts you hear podcasts like right? so some people like to hear it 1x some 1.5x and some at 2x now different abilities of perceiving the content but whenever you hear you like it at that point of time but after some time you you forget generally only only 10% remain after some time if you do not revise it you do not write it or if you do not note it somewhere then next comes the audio visual mode audio visual mode is youtube video lecture hai na and audio video ke andar agar ye jo video hai matlab audio video in the sense if this is a person standing in front of you and speaking that is a little more impactful so offline is a little more impactful than online because in online there is a disconnect whereas jaise ki if in offline idhar udhar dekh sakte ho zyada nahi dekh sakte beech mein uthke khana khane ja sakte ho wahi pe baith ke khana kha sakte ho nahi na you cannot eat here only you cannot do lot of things because you have been restricted i am watching you big brother is watching you you cannot do much this has given you a forced focus but this is not available in online online person has to keep their own discipline to be focused so this means online is less effective than offline but offline again apart from this any other mode only pitch pitch is come under this only any other mode yourself writing khud likhna so when you combine all these four you get the best result best result in the sense to watch the lecture when you are watching you are hearing at the same time you are writing whatever has stuck to your mind whatever you feel it's good you keep writing and then when you go back you read the text with this memory that has been generated so when you hear it creates only immediate memory immediate memory means exam se pehle before just writing an exam you people revise like maniacs and whenever sometimes it happens that you have revised and immediately the question is there so you just read and dhak se you write this is immediate memory but after some time if somebody asks you can you write it again no because immediate memory has a very short term effect it is there it's it's the system or rather it's the machinery of your mind this is how it is designed hai na go on internet if you have time and try to understand how your brain learns your you are in the business of learning and if you don't know how your brain learns this means you will always be struggling with the learning thing so immediate memory but if you revise is revise it again immediately after watching a lecture it creates a short term memory short term memory means which remains there for some 6 7 days within 6 7 days if you immediately keep revising or you know if you revise it once or twice it will remain for one week for some people 10 days depending on the uh, focus that you has you have given 
but if you create a revision schedule and all the four modes then it goes into our long theory a b c d so now kaise aayi subconscious did you even think no it has gone to your subconscious because it has developed itself into a long term memory similarly constitution so now all the all the schedules of constitution tell me not there not there you have to think because some of you have it in your short memory and some of you have it in your immediate memory you have just listened to the class fine but if it goes into your long term memory 1 to 3 4 five, 5 aise this is the difference fine so try whenever we are uh, so this whole story was because that whenever you are hearing something if you find something useful write in your notes how many notes how so ever good notes somebody has given it to you always write something because that is important for your own memory because when you read what you have written from your own hand while listening to the lecture it creates another another what you say layer so in your neurons this is the shape of neuron fine how does a neuron remember it's just a cell how does it remember it triggers electric signals through the use of acetylcholine okay fine so <laughs> basically each each neuron learns through the connections it has made connections it has made means the more connections a neuron makes the better your memory is a strong connection till the time that connection is strong you have something in your mind if that connection get loose you vaguely remember something na ha to sahi ko you know i i know but i am not sure i am not getting it when the connection is lost you forget so that connection there are various ways to maintain that connection and one of the ways to reinforce that connection is to have um, multiple modes of learning simultaneously you are hearing you are seeing you are writing simultaneously and when you memory you have created through this when you read it again at home it immediately takes you with that to that same connection samajh mein aa raha hai okay okay fine